thank you for considering the University of California Irvine's Division of Continuing Education for your program abroad. We're delighted that you are interested in our school and hope this presentation will help answer most of your questions and show you how we can advance your global career starting here in Irvine, California. Before we move forward, please accept this welcome from our Dean, Gary Matkin. Good. Dean of the Division of Continuing Education here at UC Irvine. On behalf of all of our staff, I would like to welcome you to our international programs. Each year, students from over 65 countries study with us to pursue their academic, professional, and personal goals. From English language courses to certificate programs to American University preparation, our programs are designed for today's global student, giving you the skills, knowledge, and advantages to be successful and thrive. Beyond the academics that our top 10 un public university can provide you, our international students benefit from a well-rounded experience that includes immersion into American culture and the development of skills that lead to achievement in today's competitive global environment. Some of the most basic principles that guide our institution include equity for all who seek education. We are committed to the fair and equitable treatment of all students regardless of race, religion, sexual orientation, and more. From completing an application through your lifetime status as a member of our alumni base, we take pride in our quality programs and hope you'll consider joining our community, whether you come to our campus in beautiful Southern California or enroll in our engaging online distance courses. Before we get into our individual programs, we'd like to introduce you a little further to the University of California, Irvine as a whole. The University of California is a system of schools with 10 different campuses. You may have heard of UCLA and UC Berkeley. Just like those, UC Irvine is a UC campus. All of the UCIs are considered large universities, and UCI had approximately 38,000 students in the fall of 2019. This counts all students from undergraduate to graduate. We have three Nobel Prize winning faculty on staff and 29 of our master's programs are ranked as a top 50 program. With UCI's focus on science and innovation, we are able to boast over 100 inventions each year, thanks to the resources and drive provided by the campus. Additionally, UC Irvine received over 122,000 freshman applications for the fall 2020 academic year, making it the number one university for in-state freshmen and one of the most competitive University of California campuses. The University of California, Irvine has received many generous awards and accolades, with some of our more recent and exciting ones being ranked the number one best university under 50 years old, the number one university doing the most for the American dream, the number nine best public university in the United States, and the number five best value university. And yes, we have had the honor of having former President Barack Obama speak at one of our commencement ceremonies. UCI is affectionately referred to as the UC in the OC, or Orange County. We are located on the coast in Southern California, just about halfway between Los Angeles and San Diego. The city of Irvine has been ranked the number one safest big city in the United States for 14 years in a row by the FBI, which makes it a great place for international students to study at and still be close to some large cities and other highlights of the southwestern United States. We enjoy a Mediterranean climate, which means warm summers and very mild winters. We are in the middle of the Tech Coast, which is starting to become the Silicon Valley of Southern California, and our vibrant economy is ranked the 45th largest in the world. And of course, we're driving distance away from some amazing cultural sites, such as Disneyland, Huntington Beach, AKA Surf City, the American baseball team, the Angels, and much more. Now we're going to narrow in to UCI's Division of Continuing Education. Because UCI is so large, the university is divided into several different schools and divisions to help students build community and connect more easily. 
The following list are the programs and opportunities for international students through the Division of Continuing Education. English Language Programs, Accelerated Certificate Programs, or ACPs, Internship Experiences and OPT, which, if you're unfamiliar with, OPT is Work Authorization in the United States that we will discuss in more detail a little later on, Four Credit University Exchange Programs, and Youth Summer Programs. First up are our English Language Programs. You can improve your reading, writing, speaking, and listening skills in any of our three options. Intensive ESL, Conversation and Culture, or Business English. Our intensive ESL program is fully accredited, lasts for 10 weeks at a time, and is offered every quarter, fall, winter, spring, and summer, according to the Northern Hemisphere seasons. This program is aimed for those preparing for university level study, career advancement, or simply ready for an intensive dive into language for their own personal goals. As you can see from the chart, our curriculum covers all the necessities in language learning and gives you 18 to 20 hours of language instruction per week. There is no language requirement to enroll in this program. All students enrolled in this program will take a placement test when they arrive and be placed into an appropriate learning level ranging from one to seven. Once again, this is offered every quarter and lasts for 10 weeks. Our next program is our Conversation and Culture ESL program, which is great for those who are looking to improve their everyday English in a fun and interactive environment. Just like the intensive ESL course, no English language ability is necessary to enroll, and students will take a placement test upon arrival and go into the appropriate level one through seven. The curriculum will still cover all the necessities of language learning, and while the Conversation and Culture program offers 80 hours of instruction per four weeks, students can actually enroll in as little as two weeks at a time and stay up to 12 weeks, depending on the calendar offering. This program is only run in the winter and summer quarters, but students are, enable, are able to enroll in January, February, or March for our winter quarter, and again in July, August, and September in our summer quarter. Lastly, we have our Business English course, and this is aimed for those looking to improve their English language skills in business subjects, whether to advance their career or go further in business studies. Students who enroll in this program range from those who know they will be pursuing a business program to business executives who com whose companies have sent them to improve their English. Topics you would study in this course may include management, marketing, negotiation, advertising, or presentation skills, to name some. Similar to the Conversation and Culture program, students can take as little as two weeks in the program, up to 12 weeks, and it is offered in our winter and summer quarters. We have intakes for Business English in January and February for winter quarter, and then July, August, and September for summer. Unlike the Intensive ESL and Conversation and Culture program, Business English does require a minimum English language ability in order to enroll. We accept many different tests of English, and while you can find the complete list of tests and scores needed on our website, they will be equivalent to a 45 internet-based TOEFL, 4.5 IELTS, and 500 TOEIC. Next up are our Accelerated Certificate Programs, or ACPs. These specialized programs are just three months long, full-time programs and have an emphasis on real-world application. This means your instructors and professionals, your instructors are professionals in the field, and you can expect to have applicable guest speakers and field trips, learning to put what you're learning in the classroom to real use. These also have the option of internship experiences and OPT, which is work authorization in the United States. Additionally, ACPs may even articulate to your home degree. This means that a student currently enrolled in university in their home country may be able to complete an ACP in a relevant field and then return home and transfer these credits back to count towards their degree. This is not necessary, but it is an option. 
Let's look closer at our Accelerated Certificate Programs portfolio. While our ACPs are not MBAs or degrees, these certificates have a wide range of benefits that have enticed hundreds of students to choose these over degree options. Firstly, ACPs can enhance the value of degrees that you have or will earn. Their high priority in real-world application make them relevant to the field you are interested in and show a dedicated interest and specialization to potential schools or employers. They can also update your skills in a given field. In this day and age, information is coming fast and often, so it is very important to continue to be learning and getting the latest education. Like we mentioned previously, part of the cutting edge education you receive in our ACPs includes instruction by real world professionals, guest speakers, and field trips to nearby American companies. All of this, including your classmates, can help you grow a robust international network and you have the opportunity for an internship experience to put to use what you learned in your certificate in a real world American setting. And you may qualify for work authorization in the United States. And don't forget that it all concludes with earning a certificate from one of the top 50 universities in the world. Here is a list of our current offerings of certificates in our ACP program. As you can see, most of them do center around business and business topics, but we also feature data science, human resources, international tourism and hotel management, and teaching English as a foreign language. We are always looking at the upcoming trends and needs of international students, so we do update this list and add more. So we encourage you to visit our website for the most up-to-date list of our offerings. One of the biggest benefits of our ACPs is the option to add on an internship experience. Our internship experiences allow you a 10-week experience in a local Orange County business that gives you the opportunity to apply what you've learned in an American business setting, which also enhances your competency in cross-cultural exchange and international business. In addition to the business practicum, our internship experience team will also help you develop an American resume, learn about the interview process for American businesses, and even host networking nights for students and companies. In order to join the internship program, you must take at least one ACP first, and the internship experience will be directly related to that ACP that you've most recently completed. Now for optional practical training, or OPT. For those of you who are unaware, OPT is a benefit for international students on an F-1 student visa granted by the federal government that allows you work experience in the United States for up to one year. In order to qualify for OPT, you must complete nine months in an approved academic program. Our accelerated certificates and internships have been approved for these purposes. In this way, any combination of two ACPs and an internship, or three ACPs, makes students qualified to apply for OPT once they complete the program. The timeline at the bottom of this slide shows one example. A student can complete two ACPs, one for three months, the second for three months, and then the internship experience for three months, therefore completing a full nine month program, and then be eligible for OPT. Once you receive OPT, you are free to job search anywhere in the United States. Some students choose to stay in Southern California, and some students look for jobs elsewhere, whether it's New York City, Hawaii, or any other U.S. destination. The only requirement is that the job must be related to the program that you completed. For example, a student who completed the Business Administration ACP and has OPT shouldn't be a server in a restaurant, but they could certainly work in administration of the restaurant. Altogether, this makes for an amazing opportunity for international students. Getting the education and certificates from the University of California, internship experiences in Orange County, and the opportunity to work full-time in the United States for a year. Imagine the benefits of all of this on your resume when you return home. Now for the ACP requirements. 
Students interested in a certificate should either have a university degree or be able to demonstrate academic or work experience in the field that you are interested in, as well as a test of English. While we accept many different tests of English, which you can find on our website, they will be equivalent to 71 on the internet-based TOEFL, 685 on the TOEIC, or 6.0 on the IELTS. Additionally, several students opt to brush up on their English first in our own ESL courses. If you choose to do this and complete the level five of our intensive English program, this will qualify you for the ACP program without needing another test score. Let's talk about our Experience UCI suite of programs. These two offerings are unique in that they really offer students the chance to experience the American university culture through the UCI student lifestyle. We'll explain this much further as we discuss our Academic Study Abroad program and our Experience University Research program in the next few slides. Firstly, our Academic Study Abroad program. You may think of this as a temporary exchange program. This is for both undergraduate and graduate students who are matriculated students earning degrees at universities in their home countries and are looking to complete a semester or year abroad here at the University of California, Irvine. The list on this slide does show you a sample of the type of courses ASAP students have taken with us in the past. But if you have questions about specific courses, you can always reach out to our ASAP team in advance to help determine availability. It is important to note that we are on a quarter system, so we have intakes in September for fall, January for winter, and March for spring. But no matter when you come, you can experience life as a UCI student and earn credits from a top 10 public university under the guidance of our acclaimed educational faculty. The next program, our Experience University Research Program, is especially meant for either current high school or current university students. No matter which group you fall into, this program will surround you with other highly motivated students, both international and American, when you live on the campus to experience the academic and cultural life at UCI, including taking courses with UCI faculty, completing advanced projects, taking campus and lab tours, and don't forget the activities in and around Orange County to get the most out of your time with us. There is an English language requirement for this program, which is the equivalent of a TOEFL internet-based test at 60. You can see more about the requirements, the schedule, and the details on our website. Well, we've covered our academic programs, but there's still a lot more that UCI's Division of Continuing Education has to offer you. We don't enroll you in a course and forget about you. All students enrolled in any of our programs have access to all of our services and extras, including personalized academic advising, immigration counseling for your visa, optional airport pickup if you'd like that, health insurance, and student support advisors available 24 seven in the form of both our own staff and a health app that allows you access to an advisor in your native language. Even beyond that, our dedicated staff create educational and recreational activities. We have a conversation club that allows for practicing English and cross-cultural exchange with American students, a robust student life offering, and access to on-campus computer labs, libraries, intramural sports teams, and recreational facilities. Here is one of our real activities calendars that you can take a look at that demonstrates just how many opportunities you have to join in on non-academic experiences with us. From volunteering to dance classes, to professional sports games, to weekend trips away to cities like San Francisco and Las Vegas, it's a priority to make sure that you can see as much of American life as possible. Plus, it's a great way to meet others and develop more of a community and a bigger network of both international and American friends while you're with us. And just to show you I'm not making things up, here are some pictures of our students on our activities all around the southwestern United States. This is also probably a good time for me to explain to you that UCI's mascot is an anteater. We've named him Peter the Anteater and you'd probably see him around. 
Once you're with us, you're considered an anteater too, and you're in good company considering we've had 56 anteaters complete in the Olympics so far. So when you study with us, where will you live? Well, DCE students have three options, apartments, homestays, and dorms. University apartments, while not on campus, are right off the campus, considered walking distance. There are also UCI shuttles, and some of the apartments have bikes for you to rent. You can expect a fully furnished room, whether shared or private, along with several amenities from pools and jacuzzis to internet, cable, and sports facilities, and resident advisors also host community activities at the complex. The photos that you see on this slide are actual photos of one of the apartment buildings that our students live at. Another option is the homestay option, where you live with an American family and also have the option of adding meals and which meals you would like included. While the families may be a little further away from the campus, about 30 to 60 minutes, you will have a private room and a local family home. Lastly, the UCI campus dorms feature a shared room with meal plans right on our campus, although these are only offered in the summer quarter. Choosing housing is simply a matter of your own personal preference. There is no right or wrong answer, and as a matter of fact, you can even mix them up. For instance, if you are doing two programs with us, such as starting an ESL and then taking an ACP, you could live with a homestay when you arrive for ESL and then move into the apartments for your ACP program. We encourage you to visit our website to see the different housing options and prices through these third-party providers. Okay, you've listened to a lot and you've seen some pictures, but now I'd like to share a video with you that really helps highlight our campus, students, and local area. Take a look to get a better idea of what's waiting for you in Orange County at the University of California, Irvine. The Division of Continuing Education is eager to help our prospective students if we can. In that way, there is occasionally the offer of a merit-based scholarship opportunity for our students. Please visit the website ip.ce.uci.edu slash scholarship to read more and see if it is available for your enrollment. Well, you've heard from me, but did you know that you can talk to our real students directly? 
Our Ask a Student feature on our website allows you to speak to current or recently graduated DCE students to ask them about their experience. You can search for students in the program you are interested in if you'd like to know more about how it benefited them, or even look for a student from your home country to ask about their cultural challenges in the United States and in California specifically. Visit ip.ce.uci.edu slash askastudent or navigate to it on our homepage from the contact button. Well, we've covered a lot of ground on the programs and extras available to students at the University of California, Irvine's Division of Continuing Education, but if you still have questions, your agency can always help and even take the step to enroll you. Our team is also always only a click away, so feel free to check out our website, Facebook, or Instagram account to get a better look at our day-to-day -day life. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this webinar, and we look forward to welcoming you to our campus in California. Hi. えっと、画像を見ていただきました。はい。えっと、そうしましたら、えっと、今学校の紹介させていただいた間に、え、皆様からご質問をいただきましたので、それについてお答えして参りたいと思います。えっと、now we start Q&A session. きのさんはよろしくお願いいたします。はい。えっと、それでは早速、えっと、最初の質問に参りますので、えっと、りのさんとしたら、えっと、マイケルさんに、えっと、質問をお願いします。まず、えっと、コロナ禍でのインターンは
はい、ありがとうございます。えっ、ー、と、そうしましたら、ちょっと皆さんがせっかくご参加いただいてますので、ちょっと体験についてもあの簡単にお伺いしたいんですけども、ですかね、こう、通っていらして、あの、大変なこととかはありますか大変な、まあ、やっぱり最初のコミュニケーション、コミュニケーションを取るのかは大変だったんですけど、結構、何か、えっと、アジア系アメリカ人とかが、MCI が多くは特徴の一つなんですけど、そういった環境を留学生とかに対してもこう同じバックグラウンドを持ってるみたいな、ね、結構優しくしてくれたるので、友達作りっていうのはそんなに困らなかったなっていうのがありますね。で結果的にちょっと仲良くなっちゃうと、えっと、ウーバー、さっきウーバーとか言ってたんですけど、あの送り返りとかしてくれる仲にしてるので、まあ、友達作り少し大変だったんですけど、乗り越えてしまえばすごく。あの、よかったと思います。はい。こう英語のお店なんだった時とかは、どのようにこう克服していましたか英語を伸び,伸び悩んだ時とかはい。えっと、そうですね。恥ずかしがらずに結構喋ることっていうのを意識していて、やっぱりこう、使わないと、えっと、わからないままになってしまうので、もうせっかくお金を払っていけたりしたら、えっと、なんですか、もう恥を捨てて、と、もう言う、言ったりとか、わからなかったら、もう聞いちゃうと、あの、ちゃんと聞くみたいな、そういう姿勢みたいなのは大切にして。ましたかってね。はい。はい、ありがとうございます。貴重なお意見いただきました。で、えっ、ー、と、そしたら、えっ、ー、と、じゃ、最後に、えっ、ー、と、マイケルさん。でも、あの、イノさんでも構わないんですけど、まあ、あの、UCI のプログラム参加したい方に向けて何かこう、あの、応援メッセージをお願いします。マイコ、can, uh, could you give, uh, the student a message? Uh, uh, like a wrap-up what, message, maybe? <laughs> uh, 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 what kind of message? Like, they, they, you know, <laughs> like, the wrap-up message. A、wrap-up, yes, yeah, yes, wrap-up. yes. Yes,、uh, thank you everyone for the opportunity for us to share a little bit about our program. I hope you will uh, uh, look at our website and learn a little bit more about it. And I also hope that when the pandemic finishes, we can welcome you back onto our campus and we look forward to、uh, seeing you soon. Thank you. Arigato kazama. マイケルさんが言ってたことは、今はちょっとコビットのコロナの関係でキャンパスには来れないと思うんですけど、まあ、ウェブサイトとかちょっと見てもらって、で、あの、まあ、留学っていうのを、まあ、いろいろ考えていただきたいなっていうことと、あと、まあ、コロナが終わったら、ぜひ、あの、キャンパスに来てもらって、あの、エンジョイしてもらいたいなっていうことだったので、はい、留学すごい貴重な経験だと思うので、いろいろ、あの情報を自分から取りに行ってあの考えていただければいいのかなと思います。はい、ありがとうございます。そうしましたら短いお時間だったんですけども、ここで Q&A コーナーは終了とさせていただきます。それでは、えー、とお二人はここまでとなります。本当にありがとうございます。マイコワンのリノさん、Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。Stay safe. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.